you're a Christian parent raising your kids, then one day one of your children tells you they're gay. Stop, take a breath, everything's will be okay. I have some things I wanna share with you today that can help you get through that time. Hi, I'm Steve Bowen, and my wife Deb and I lead the Parent and Family Ministry in Strength and Weakness. We've been married for almost 40 years, and we've been Christian for 36. As Christians, we raised a family of two daughters and a son. When our daughters were each in their teens, they both separately told us that they were gay. When we found out, we were devastated. We were hurt. And we did some things that damaged our relationship with our kids. They later married women, but over the years, we've really worked hard to build that relationship to the point now it's the best it's ever been. And I wanna share with you some of the things that we have learned. We really learned that in order to have a great relationship with our kids through this situation, we had to learn to practice unconditional love. The Bible says in Romans 5, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And when we talk about unconditional love, we realize that we have to love our kids regardless of the choices they make, regardless of the expectations we may have, and that we need to love them the way God loved us, as they are who they are, and truly help them to feel how much we love them. That was the beginning of when our relationship started to change for the better. A thing that we learned is don't freak out. At the time our children told us that they were gay, let me tell you, we were freaking out. We showed it and we did all of the bad responses you could have. What we've learned is we can't freak out publicly. Now sometimes you may have to go to another room, get in your car, drive 100 miles, scream, cry, whatever. But when you come back in front of your child, don't freak out. Because if you do, then that shuts down communication and you'll never be able to build the kind of relationship that I know you want with your child. We really wrestled through this one because so many times we think if I accept something, that means I approve of it, but they're not equal. You know, for example, my wife accepts the fact that I snore when I sleep but she doesn't approve of the fact that I do it while we're in bed together. You can accept something, but never approve of it. We had to accept the fact that our children were gay, but we still had to work through the fact that we don't approve of that lifestyle based on God's word. But once we were able to separate the two, that opened the door for us to continue to reach out and love our kids, and in addition, reach out and love their partners. Another thing we learned as parents is that we always have to work to build a bridge and not a barrier. And that means that every time we talk with our kids, anytime we interact with our kids, any reaction we have to our kids, we stop and think, am I about to build a bridge or am I about to build a barrier? And so many times we build barriers not only by the words we say, but the looks we give. For example, if your child tells you they're gay, does this face build a bridge or a barrier? Stop and think before you respond, before you react, and think, am I building a bridge or am I building a barrier that's gonna help or hurt the relationship I want with my child? If you work on these tips, they will help you to have a better relationship with your child. But understand, these are not meant to change your child. These are meant for you to become who you need to be for Christ. If you like this video, please subscribe. But for now, this is just another tool for your toolbox.